Hey, what's up, YouTube? Welcome to another one of my videos. Today, I want to talk about the um, LG G2 and unbreaking it. I know a lot of you may be wondering how to do so, so I will show you how. I know there's quite a few um, uh, guides all over the web. I found a video on YouTube, and it quite frankly didn't help me too much. As long, as well as uh, there's other posts on Reddit and XDA, and most of them uh, were just not. Uh, structured right for me to understand them in a new level. So um, today I just want to talk to you about how to unbreak your phone successfully. And before I begin, I want to show you or I want to note that on my device, on my G2, I don't know how I bricked it. I thought I was flashing the right ROM and unfortunately I guess it wasn't. So it rendered up useless and I couldn't even get into um, recovery mode I couldn't do anything I did found a little loophole and it was basically um, holding down the, the down but bu the volume down button while pressing the power button letting go again letting go of it again and pressing it again once you do that it allows you to do a factory reset but that didn't help because my partitions were all screwed up so what what it did let me do was it let me get into Torp recovery which I already had previously installed before I break my device. So anyways, um, while I was in Twerp, I still couldn't do anything. I couldn't revert back my an Android backup that I made before I flashed uh, the ROM that screwed up my phone. So I was basically screwed. Um, people were telling me all over the internet to go to go into download mode and to use a LG flash tool to flash it back. And um, I couldn't even get my phone in download mode. So they, there is a link that I will post and um, you can go ahead and uh, follow the instructions on the SGA thread to get your download mode back. Um, do, do, uh, do, I can't even pronounce what I'm going to say, but do mention, I want to mention you guys that on the download mode, it's not going to be the download mode like, let me see if I can pull it up and show it to you real quick. It won't be the download mode that has the graphical interface. It'll be a download mode that looks quite ugly and it's just a bunch of text and words. Um, I'm trying to look over here on my computer see if I can pull up the guide and, and show you. Give me one second, I apologize. Here we go. So, right over here. See, this is how it looks like when you're normally in download mode besides the Japanese or Chinese lettering. But it looks like that. You'll have like a little USB uh, picture and, and whatnot and I'll tell you like it's waiting for upgrade. That's how normal download mode should look like. But for me, I couldn't even get to that. So follow the instructions and the link that I'm going to show you to get your download mode. But since this video is not about how to get your download mode back, it's about how to unbreak your device, um, we're going to go ahead and proceed. So um, this is what your download mode will look like, will, how it looked like for me. All it said was these little text right here, and it was just a black screen and the letters were white. So, but at least that allows your computer to recognize your device and you can still use fast boot mode. So that's where we're going to proceed with, which I got to show you next. Um, this is how we start. So I will have all the links below so you can download the, the files that you need to recover your phone successfully. And they're actually on my flash drive right here. Um, don't pay attention to these right here. That's just other things that I have. But these two right here are the main ones that you need. So um, the fast boot recovery is the one that's gonna like bring your phone right back to life. And um, so let's begin with that. Um, this guide was one of the easiest guides that I found online to follow, which is what helped me to get my phone back. And um, he, the original guy who created the the, uh, the the files to actually get your phone back, I believe it's I think it's this one. Not sure if it is, but it was very complicated. Um, it had a lot of broken English, and um, I, yeah, this is it right here. I could not, for the life of me, understand what the guy was trying to do. I mean, I thank him for um, for actually making this uh, little guide to bring your phone back to sock when you're in a boot loop on your G2. But I couldn't follow it. It was just broken English, and then the way he and he put this in here was just all broken. I couldn't even. It was horrible. But this is where I come in, and I make it easy. So. All right, let's get right to it. Um, you're gonna need these files. Once you have them downloaded, um, make sure you do have the drivers for your phone installed for LG G2. You can just Google it up or 
um, I'll, I'll link it down below this is it make sure you install it um, once it is installed you're gonna want to put your phone in download mode and if you can't get to the nice graphical ga download mode like I did um, still you most likely will probably have the other uh, what I was telling before the other ugly download mode version but anyways you're gonna want to turn up your device completely off hold up hold uh, the volume up down while you plug in the phone to the computer and your phone should you know be in download mode now um, next what you're gonna want to do is if you're on Windows like I am you're gonna want to hold down shift right click and see this right here it says open uh, command windows here and you should be in the directory where ADB is at and fastboot is at which are these two programs right here and um, I do want to mention that I am on Windows 8.1 um, I'm pretty sure it works on other other uh, operating systems, or obviously Windows operating systems, um, like Windows 7 and whatnot. But uh, anyways, yeah. So um, another thing that I'm gonna mention in a little bit, it ha we're gonna have to mess around with Device Manager, but we'll get that. We'll get to that eventually. So once you're in here, in your fast boot recovery, you're gonna want to let's see, pull it up. You're gonna want to have go back to the right here I see all these files right here all these right here all these files right here laugh boot DBI a boot all those right there those are a must on your on this on this uh I mean on, on to fix your phone to fix your phone sorry for my stuttering guys I didn't plan this video I'm just kind of going with the flow but um, these files right here are what's gonna save your life uh, and they have to be in the same directory where ADB and Fastboot is at. So don't worry, I'll, I will have all this uploaded so you guys can download it just like it is. Um, but those files are what get pushed to your device. So see these commands right here? You have to do them individually. So what you can do is right click, copy, go to your command, right click, paste. And I'm not going to press enter because my phone isn't even connected. It's just for demonstration purposes. But you're going to click enter and you'll see it. It'll say, okay, push so and so. Uh, you know kilobytes megabytes whatever it is to your device and you just keep doing that all the way down all the way down keep doing one individually till you get to the very last one which is this one and then you're gonna want to do fast boot reboot and that'll reboot your device and guess what you'll see the nice little uh, splash logo on for your phone and for this purpose I completely forgot to mention but this is for the LG G2 for the AT&T version so um, these files are just for the AT&T version, so don't get that mixed up and flash it and screw the phone up more than what it is. So um, it'll reboot your phone, and your phone will have brand, you know, it'll be right back to life, and you'll be able to go back into it. But once you're back into it, the image, these images right here that we flash back to your, uh, back to your phone, it's an image for like uh, the factory to actually test the device out. So it's not a functional image. It, I mean, it turns on, and you can actually get into the device but this menu pops up and all it does is lets you test the sensors uh, proximity sensors and all the other you know things that are on the device so but at least we got it up and running that's the first part the second part will be flashing the phone back to the original stock image that came out of the box which is where this file comes in that one right there flash g2 stock and I really want to give a big shout out to super sport on XDA, he made it really easy. And do take note that this is KitKat non non rooted, so it's just completely stock. But it's really easy to root. So, um, anyways, uh, this gentleman right here, uh, I'll put the link down below. You're gonna want to download the very first one right here. Download installer KitKat, and um, it's it t does take a little bit to download because it's a big file. And um, as you can see, I've already downloaded. And um, you're gonna want to uh, make sure. Uh, before you do double click it and continue on with it you want to make sure that uh, you don't have any other LG flash tools installed prior to installing super sports uh, big loft G2 whatever uh, actual flash tool you don't want to have the LG flash tool installed because what his program does it automates it and installs it for you and the correct programs and whatnot so uninstall if you do already have the LG flash tool installed restart your computer and get back into this file and double click on it 
and um, I just double clicked on it and I should enough because it takes eh, about a minute or two to literally load up so you see how my little wheel is just spinning and spinning and spinning it'll do that for a minute and a half almost two minutes and that's completely normal it's because it's loading a lot of programs so if you see it pop up in a little bit I do apologize but anyways um, I hope this doesn't render me from showing you guys uh, oh God, showing you guys what I have to show you to fix this anyways no it's not so once you do have the program installed you're gonna want it'll install the program in your C directory so let's go to your C directory and you'll see it right there an LG uh, folder once you go into it you'll see LG flash tool and of course you'll have the icon on your desktop so here's all the folders I mean all the uh, the, the the files that you will need to actually bring your phone back to stock stock real true stock not the other image that that brought your phone back to life so um, once you're in LG Flash, I'm going to execute it real quick. This is completely normal. Just click OK, ignore it. You're going to want to do select manual mode. And if you do go back to his website, um, to the to the thread, see how it just popped up? You're going to want to click next. Yeah, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to click the client because it's already installed on my computer. But read real careful right here. Here it is, here it is. Um, KitKat, the installer that we downloaded is for KitKat 4.4.2. But the, the .dll files that are in, in the directory, let's see if I can show it to you guys real quick. In this directory, you see how there's two .dll? You gotta be careful because uh, each one differs. See the one that says 811? That's for a uh, different, I think it's Jelly Bean, and this one's for Kit Kat. So you gotta be careful which one you flash, but just follow along what I'm doing and you'll, you'll, you'll uh, be successful. So, um, see the first one? It'll be the one that ends with uh, 2013 just these numbers right here so you're gonna click the three dots and it'll take you to the um, to the actual directory where you installed it and you're gonna want to click on the on the uh, 811 one click on it since I already did it it'll say wrong DL but it's already inputted in there and then the, t the TOT file which is the actual image the software image for the phone you want to click add and it'll still be here and you just double click on it you double click on it and it's 3.16 gigs so that's why it took a while to download the program but you double click on it and it'll load and there it'll, it'll be right there make sure it isn't on board.dl make sure it's on upgrade make sure it's not on on uh um, i don't know why i keep switching to land but for me when i did it it went to usb mode and it worked amazing it worked perfectly you just click ok i'm gonna click cancel because um obviously that's the end of it i have nowhere not nothing else to show you but once you do that um you're gonna want to make sure you're your let me just go back into it once you do that do take note that you see how the, there's com ports and it says com port 41 you're gonna want to go to right click my computer or this PC and Windows 8 and click manage wait till it loads it takes a little bit and you're gonna want to go to device manager um, on your computer you're gonna want to go to portable flash drives mine doesn't show up down here because my uh, my LGG2 isn't plugged in let me see if it pops up if I do plug it in real quick give me one second plug it in real quick see if it pops up on the screen right there and give it a minute the G2 is actually loading up so and I do apologize for this long video but I, I really didn't plan this out so and it's kind of length lengthy so I mean it took me 10 plus hours to figure out how to unbreak my phone so I hope this does help you guys out. But let me turn the device back on. It's charging right now. But once, what I'm trying to say is that once you're in device manager, you will see an, an Android. It'll say Android PD, some Android something right here. But what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to make sure that the Android phone, which is your G2, is it's using port 41. See right there. LG Android PTB device. I don't know why it has an exclamation mark. Don't ask me. I don't know why, but it worked for me. You're gonna want to click properties, and you're gonna want to go to where is it? Where is it? I think it's drivers. Where is it? Uh, I forgot how to do this. Whatever details. I'm not sure if that's it. No, it's not. But anyways, the gentleman. 
you get what I'm trying to say. The gentleman on the thread on XDA actually shows you how to do it. He has steps how to do it once you download his his uh, his program, and um, you install the program. He tells you how to do it, and then this is what we're trying to do in Device Manager: change COM port to 40, 41. So um, as you can see, it's kind of lengthy, and it's going to take a while for me to explain and show you how to do. It. But that's exactly what you got to do. You install Super Sus uh, Super Sports program. Once you do that. You're gonna to want to place your phone in download mode. Then once you do that, change your your change your LG G2s, which it'll show up as LG Android MT device. Change that to port 41, and that's a must. You have to do that in order to for this to work. Do that, and then after that, you're gonna to want to run LG Flash Tool, which is this program right here, and have everything like I showed you. And once you do that, um, your phone will be. It obviously it'll start showing like it's flashing a new software version, and it'll take eh, it'll take some time, five minutes for it to flash, maybe more. Um, and that's about it. I mean, uh, I know what I'm gonna mention is that on my phone, whenever I was flashing the the, uh, the firmware back using the LG Flash tool, it got hung on 94%. But my phone had already like and already had installed the, 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 the firmware and it rebooted and everything so I don't know why the LG tool said for 94% but I sat there for 10 minutes literally waiting for it and it didn't do anything and so I just unplugged it and um, the phone still works you know I'm running the latest KitKat and I ended up rooting it and everything's working just fine so yeah that's how you get your phone back to um, stock LG2 or that's how you get your G2 back to stock on AT&T and um, if you do want to root it uh, this is video isn't about rooting it but just Google IO root and you'll that's how you root it and um, yeah that's about it and um, I hope you guys found this video useful I apologize for my stuttering and my complete not having order but I just didn't plan this video I just kind of want to shoot it out real quick before I actually forgot how to do it so yeah I hope you guys enjoyed it and if you guys liked just uh, subscribe and like it and I'll talk to you guys later take care